This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Squarespace and GoDaddy. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques that go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. Today, we're going to get a little cutthroat, and later, projectile vomiting. Ooh. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film was made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. So this past week, I've gotten two emails asking how to do effects from different horror movies. Now, although Halloween's over, it still kind of lives on right here, doesn't it? So I'm going to do it anyway. The first email is from Janessa. I'm working on a video right now, and I wanted to know how to recreate the throat cutting effect from the film From Hell. So if you don't know what scene she's talking about, here it is. But it's kind of graphic, so if you're watching with the kitties, give them one of these. Now you're thinking, ew, gross, but I'm thinking, let's frickin' do it. So this effect is actually two effects in one. Two! Two effects for the price of one! That's a steal! Come on down to Film Right, where you can get two effects for the price of one! Steal! The first part of the effect is the throat slitting open. For this, you're gonna need a few things. Nose and scar wax, thick blood, a few Q-tips, and some foundation. First thing you need to do is to take a nice amount of nose and scar wax and roll it into a line. Then put that on your actor and feather it in. Once done, add some makeup to blend. Then slice a line down the center and open it up. Now using the Q-tips, add in some thick blood and you're done. So now that you have your makeup done, it's time to start shooting. The first shot you're gonna get is one of your actor acting as though his throat just got slit and he dies. Next, take off all the makeup, and without moving your camera, have him play out the first part of your scene before the throat has been cut. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. Then have someone else walk by the camera so that it covers the lens. Now take all of your footage into your editing program. Put the clip of the actor with the throat already cut on the bottom, and the clean one on top. Now mask out behind the actor that walks past the camera so that it turns into a wipe to the clip below. Finally, add some sound effects, and... Now, as you probably already noticed, I made the nose and scar wax a little too thick on Josh's neck. For more of a realistic effect, you're going to want to thin yours out a little bit. Next, we're going to get to some Exorcist-style projectile vomiting. After a word from the people who keep our lights on. Ooh, better hurry with that. Looking to drive viewers to your video content? Well, then get a .tv domain name and stand out from the crowd. .tv domain names are perfect for podcasters, video bloggers, anyone with something to say. And they're available now at GoDaddy.com. Also, be sure to check out Revision3.com forward slash GoDaddy for all the Film Riot GoDaddy deals and codes. Oh, are you feeling all right? Oh, this is going to be bad. What's going to be bad? Oh, no. Should I move? If I should move, just, just say it. Should I move? Should I move? Yes or no? You didn't answer me! You just threw up on me! What is your deal? Yeah. So here's the email. Ryan, for Halloween I wanted to recreate a scene from one of my favorite horror films, The Exorcist. Any chance you could show how to do the vomiting thing on the show? But I want to show it head on, not from the side. If you don't know the scene, here it is. And once again, for the kiddies, you're going to want to do this. What is it? What is it? <laughs> for this one, I only spent 15 bucks, and that was for a green blanket from Walmart. After that, I just used whatever I could find around the house. My brother's leaf blower, a tube from a shop vac, and whatever concoction 
Tim and Josh put together to make the repulsive vomit. <laughs> now that the vomit's ready to go, grab the leaf blower and the tube. Then pour the vomit into one end of the tube. Then cut a hole in the green screen to put the other end of the tube through. Now hook the other side to the leaf blower. On three, turn on the leaf blower and vomit. Oh, just stepped in duty. Next, get the footage of your actor pretending to throw up and bring all of your clips into your editing or effects program. Put the green screen footage on top and the one of your actor vomiting below that. Then just key out the green, line up the clips, and puke. Now you probably already noticed that I just used available lighting for the green screen. It works great and it's a perfect solution for those of you who don't have the extra cash to buy lights. And now it's time for a word from the people that keep my water running. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any other kind of website. And Squarespace, being the amazing team that they are, have built Chinese Films an absolutely incredible new site layout. So now I can go in and adjust size, color, and positioning of all the elements of my site without having to know any coding at all. And they've made it insanely easy to keep all my content up to date as well. So check out Chinese and leave a comment in the news section to let us know what you think. Then jump over to squarespace.com and get your site started. And if you do, don't forget to represent by using the promo code FILMRIOT so you can get 10% off the life of your order. And that's the end. If you have a request for something on the show, you can email me at filmwriter at revision3.com. You can also follow my tweets at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. And of course, don't forget about the Facebook page, become a fan for some more Film Riot loving. And I'll see you guys next Thursday.